Hello and welcome to a new episode of Adobe Creative Cloud TV. My name is Terry White and in this episode we're going to take a look at the new enhancements to the font menu in Photoshop CC 2015, the end of November or November 30th update. Let's take a look and see how it works. Well here I've got uh, a document open and of course I've got my type tool selected and what I'd love to do is just add some text right above or to the left or right of the Eiffel Tower that says Paris. So we'll just go ahead and click and of course I can begin typing, it's gonna create a layer, and that will give me a font, for whatever my last font was that I used. Well, that font's okay, but I'd love to try a different one. So I'll just select that text. And as you know, from one of the other updates in Photoshop, we have the ability to, or previous updates, we have the ability to scroll down. We also now have the ability to search on class. So I can say, give me all classes to show me all the fonts that I have, or if I'm looking for, for example, a sans serif font, just show me the sans serif fonts that I have installed. If I'm looking for a script font, show me the script fonts that I have installed. And one of my favorite fonts is Bickham Script Pro. And you'll notice there's a star next to all of my fonts. So if I click the star next to any font, I've now designated that as a favorite. Also, as I'm scrolling down, I can see some of the uh, Typekit fonts here. And as you know, the Typekit library is available to our Creative Cloud Complete members. You have the ability to search and use a font library that's worth thousands and thousands of dollars. So uh, as I scroll through these, if I see one that I like, ooh, I kind of like that one, that lush regular. I can go ahead and mark that a favorite. And I can also mark uh, this one a favorite as well. So now the next time I'm looking for a font that's one that I really like to use over and over or all the time, I can say, just show me my favorites. Just filter down to the ones that I like the most. And then I can click the font that I want. And of course, we can use uh, the techniques we've always used, the scrubby slider to make that bigger. And uh, in case you missed it in the last update, we also have the glyphs panel here in Photoshop uh, CC. So for example, if I select this P because maybe I want a different P, I can go ahead and say alternates for the selection. It'll show me all the P's that are in that particular font. I really like this fancy one, so let's go ahead and choose that. And now that I've got that one in place, we can go ahead and just simply move this over and put this exactly where I want it to be. So you'll love the new enhancements in the font menu for Photoshop CC. It brings it in line with InDesign and Illustrator from the standpoint of favorites, but it takes it up a notch with the classes and all the other cool things that we can do. So that's it. Take care and we'll catch you on the next one.